Good morning, and welcome to this week's edition of the Week in Triathlon. Let's roll that intro. Undoubtedly, the biggest news of the Triathlon Week has been Angry Bird picking up the biggest paycheck in triathlon history, that being the million dollar bonus check for winning the Triple Crown in Bahrain this past Saturday. And that completely overshadowed Luke McKenzie's superlative performance in Western Australia, where he completely massacred, he blew the field away with a winning margin of over 20 minutes to second place, a time of 7 hours 55 minutes, and in the process, beating Crowe Alexander's Ironman record for Australia. So yes, the races from last week end in the uh, world of Ironman was ov- obviously on Saturday. The fifth was Ironman Bahrain, and as I mentioned, Daniela, Daniela Rafe, Angry Bird, picked up the win for the women's division, and in the process, a million-dollar paycheck, and Bart Arnold of Belgium picked up the win for the men. And then... On to Sunday in Basilton, Western Australia, we had Sarah uh, Pampiano of the USA picking up the win for the women, and as I mentioned earlier, Luke McKenzie won the race for the men. Then on to this coming weekend, on Saturday the 12th, is an Ironman 70.3, and that's happening in Topo, New Zealand, and on Sunday... There's an Ironman 70.3, and that's taking place in Victoria, Australia. So Ironman is centered all around Australia and New Zealand this coming weekend. And we'll stay tuned for next week to see how the pro races in those two events played themselves out. Now for Challenge Family News. Well, the Challenge Family seem to have wound down their news channel for the, year, for the end of year holidays. But I'll keep a close eye on all the different news feeds and any new developments and updates in the coming weeks, I'll be making sure that you're the first to know right here on The Week in Triathlon. As far as this coming weekend is concerned, no races on the Challenge Family program for this coming weekend, and there were no races this past weekend for me to report back on either. Now for Xterra. Yes, it's true. The second oldest Xterra event after the Maui World Championship has been axed from the calendar. That's right, there's no more Xterra Richmond. And while I'm at it, there's no more Xterra Las Vegas either. The uh, Both events have been without a destination sponsor for the 2016 event. And, are, and without a destination sponsor, both of these events are no longer financially viable. However, Xterra has confirmed that they are looking for a potential licensee to take over one or the other or both of these two events. But even for a licensee without having a destination sponsor, it won't be financially viable for the licensee either, but we'll have to wait and see how developments unfold there. As far as events are concerned, Xterra is in sleep mode through until February of 2016. Now for the exciting world of ITU, and boy do we have a couple of clangers coming for you you today. We are just eight months away from the Rio Olympic Games, and the results are in for the seawater pollution levels where the triathlon sea swim will be taking place. And the news is less than stellar. Both viral and bacterial pollution levels are widespread, even far out to sea. So how are they going to be getting all that mass of seawater clean enough for them to be able to use for the triathlon is anybody's guess. Then, looking ahead to the next couple of years, the ITU has come up with this brainwave idea to group together duathlon, long-distance triathlon, and cross-triathlon in a single multi-sport week type um, destination event uh, for the coming years. And as we already know that the ITU's idea of cross-triathlon is an incredibly lame, dumbed-down version of what we all know Xterra to be. So if they, the, the choice of venue is being based around what is ideally suited for the, uh, for the long-distance road triathlon and the road duathlon, 
most of these type of destinations are have got an incredibly lack of technical trails or anything like that so all that I can think of for the these coming events will be that the uh, triathlon cross will be even lamer will be even further dumbed down from where they already are so my suggestion to anybody going to go and race the uh, triathlon cross ITU triathlon cross the world uh, in the at these new destination events would be to pack in slick tires for your bike and pack, pack in a set of clip-on triathlon bars to clip onto your mountain bike handlebars because the way that these uh, I see the ITU moving with cross triathlon is it's going to be aero tuck on the mountain bike with slick tires will be the, the type of equipment setup that will carry the day. But we'll, ha we'll have a look-see at how these um, event courses pan themselves out during the planning phases over the phases over the next couple of months. The, just from that point of view, the um, first of the new type of um, triple event uh, multi-sport um, destination weeks will be happening in 2017 and that's in Pentagon in Canada. The second one, 2018, will be in Odense in Denmark, and 2019 will be in Pontevedra in Spain. And I know personally, as far as Pontevedra is concerned, I was I looked at that briefly as a possibility for an Xterra, and within uh, two minutes of looking at Google Earth, I completely shelved the idea because there is a complete lack of technical trail riding within the region of Pontevedra. So where they're going to be putting a triathlon cross, I've got no idea. Maybe laps up and down the half pack beach, uh, beach sand, who knows. But be that as it may, those are the, the three events coming up. And as I said, pack in your slick tires, pack in your triathlon bars when going to go and race ITU triathlon cross uh, world championships in 2017, 18 and 19. Then on the event front, as far as the ITU is concerned, this past weekend there have been no ITU events whatsoever, so nothing to report back on there. However, this coming weekend, Saturday the 12th of December, is going to be a middle distance uh, American Cup event taking place in Paracas, and that is in Peru. That brings us to the end of this week's edition of the Week in Triathlon. Be sure to share this out amongst all your triathlon friends. Remember, thumbs up if you like this type of content. Post any comments, questions, criticisms you have. Post that in the comment section down below. And last but by no means least, there's a big red subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button that we stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Remember, I'll see you next week Friday for another edition of the Week in Triathlon. And until then... Every single day, there will be a new video answering an athlete question posted right here on the very same channel. So be, be sure to subscribe and catch all of that news as it comes out daily. So until we meet again for another edition of the Week in Triathlon or daily for the, for the athlete questions, be sure to stay carved up for the win and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Uh,